Good morning to all. Today we will discuss about an important tool how you can active your Google Scholar so that you can able to see the journal ranking like whether your published articles are Q1 or Q2 or Q3, whether it is SCI or Scopus Index, how much your impact factor, everything you can able to see on your Google Scholar profile. Like I will show you suppose my Google Scholar I want to show you so here you can see that you can able to see here JCI impact factor of that paper SCI Q1 Q2 so impact factor so you can see all these things you can able to see current impact factor and previous impact factor so you can see in all journals you can able to see it so how you can active this if in general if i will open in google scholar suppose i will open my google scholar so you can see it we can able to get like this so here we cannot understand whether this is q1 or q2 how much the impact factor then we have to go to again inside the journal and we have to check it so if we can active these then we can able to easily identify the journals are q1 or q2 what is the impact for current impact for based on the current impact factor how much is the impact factor because impact factor always changes so today we will know that how we can active our google scholar so that it will be helpful to make your bio data or when you are applying somewhere so that time we have to put the impact factor whether it follows q1 or q2 or q3 so all these things so very easily you can able to know it and you can incorporate in your bio data or if you apply somewhere it will be also helpful so let's start how you can active and we can get all these things in google scholar so there are three links i will also share these links in the description box so just you have to active those links and then you can able to do it so let's i will show you that what are those links you can see these three links you have to active so first link i just here you can see it i just open it and then you just open this link you can see now so you can see the there when you will put it and you open you can see that that journal ranking in Google Scholar. So now here, since this is active in my profile, so here it is showing remove from Chrome, but in your case, add to Chrome extension will come. So you just click it and just give OK, OK. So next, second, after this activation, second, you just active this one. The second link, you just open one more tab and click it so then similar way you can see here rapid journal quality check so similarly here you will get add to chrome so just click this one then you just activate it. so okay okay will come then you just click okay okay and accept this next after this activation again you just active another one more link so you just active then this link this is paper guard so here also when it will come here you just make it that add to chrome so once you will active these three link then you open your google scholar then you can able to see like this you can see now so here q1 journal 60 percent q2 journal 14 percent q3 journal 1 percent so 25 percent are not uh, recognized because if you have some books or book chapter so it is unable to uh, take those data that's why so 25 percent here they are saying that in a but you can able to know that you can see here you can able to know that your journals under q1 or q2 
you how much current impact factor SCI then JCI report JCI report so everything you can able to understand in your Google Scholar itself so try to active your Google Scholar and enjoy not only you can know yours so after this activation you can also know others Google Scholars uh, their publications whether they are q1 or q2 how much impact all these things you can also know for other researchers also so hope this video will be helpful to all of you and try it to active your google scholar so thank you very much thank you for watching